this is Devin Lockett once again at the Biometrics Health Center and I'm really happy about the substance I'm going to be talking about this morning. I'm going to bring you another holistic health tip. Today we're going to be talking about haritake. Hi. Yes, the haritake uh, comes from a plant called Terminalia cebula, which grows in India, in Asia, and around China. And um, this it produces a fruit. That fruit is dried, and the pulp from the inside, not the shell, the shell is uh, kind of poisonous, but the pulp from the inside is, is taken out and is ground into a powder. This is the powder right here. Okay? And... I opened with an image of the Medicine Buddha because I would like you to see that in the image of the Medicine Buddha, the blue Medicine Buddha, um, he has a haritake flower in one hand and a har no, the plant, yeah, the haritake plant in one hand and the haritake fruit in the other. Um, haritake is the basic ingredient of about 60 to 70 percent of um, Ayurvedic medicines and um, it's uh, very, very good. It's, it's very powerful. You know, they call it the king of all herbs or the mother of all herbs, but it's actually not an herb. It's a dried fruit. Here at the Biometrics Health Center, we do a lot of training for peak performance. In other words, we try to help people get the most out of uh, their brain and their body so that they can pursue their um, their highest goals in, in physical achievement, business achievement, um, scholastic achievement if you're a student, athletic achievement if you're an athlete, uh, creative achievement if you're an artist, and uh, just uh, the best that you can get out of life, the best quality of life that you can get. And in this process, we do a lot of brain training. Um, not only uh, neurofeedback, neurofeedback is our main uh, method of brain training, but we also do cranial electrotherapy stimulation and um, audiovisual brain entrainment. I say all that to say this. A lot of times, um, people are suffering from calcification of the pineal gland. That comes from using fluoride toothpaste. Now, if I have any recommendation, um, oh, before I start making any recommendations, I'd like to say I am not a doctor. Remember, Devin Lockett does not equal MD, okay? I'm not a doctor and I'm not giving any type of um, health advice or, or medical advice, okay? This is only holistic health tips to help you live a more satisfying life and to help you keep better care, take better care of your own body so that you don't need to go to the doctors. Um, however, um, I do recommend that you stop using fluoride toothpaste. If you're presently using a toothpaste that has fluoride, fluoride tends to calcify the pineal gland. The pineal gland is where a lot of our serotonin comes from. Serotonin is a very special endorphin because it has a lot to do with self-esteem. So when you get into a conflict with someone, for example, your frontal lobe is robbed of serotonin. Serotonin gives you the ability to recognize other people's emotions by their facial expressions. And if you are serotonin starved, then you're just going to go into fight or flight. You're not going to be able to connect with another person. And whatever conflict you're having with them is just going to escalate. You don't want that. You don't want to be in that state. Okay? You want to have a, 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 a good supply of serotonin. And the way to do that is to cleanse the brain. Well, haritake is one of those substances that cleanses the brain. It's very good for people who are um, in a period of detoxification from the effects of alcoholism and drug addiction. What are the things that uh, haritake is good for? Let's start going through that list again. Now that you know I'm not a doctor. Um, it's good for blood pre high blood pressure, good for regulating high blood pressure, it's good for diabetes, it's very good for digestive problems, it's very good for cleansing the digestive tract. It has its own pace of churning through your, your digestive system um, and helping everything come out right, okay? Um, if you take it before bed, you will wake up in the morning and have a very healthy cleansing. This is the way most people take it. It also increases the oxygen in your blood and it raises your energy level. So some people don't like to take it at night because it will keep them awake or they think it keeps them awake. 
everyone's different. Everyone's body chemistry is different. Um, one of the ways that I would suggest taking it, if you were going to take it at night, is to uh, administer it to yourself in the manner that I'm about to demonstrate now and uh, follow it up with a, a melatonin pill <laughs> and you might want to put a couple of drops of DMSO on that melatonin and let it soak in and that's a that's a combination from the biometrics health center for giving yourself lucid dreams for uh, opening up the mind while you're sleeping and um, just try it out and and put in the comments below this video how it came out for you but uh, on to the benefits um, well, let's get some more information about Harataki. Harataki comes from, it's also called Karu uh, Kaipudi in India, Karu Kaipudi, and it comes from the Terminalia Chibula plant. Terminalia Chibula, okay? Um, let me see, let me see. It can be used on the skin, it can be used on the face, it cleanses your skin, it has a nice little exfoliating kind of property to it. So, I mean, you know, you can you can scrub your skin with it. It's very good for keeping your skin clear, getting a lot of toxins out of your skin. Some people actually bathe their entire body with it, okay? I take it internally, once again, to cleanse the brain, especially the pineal gland, and also to cleanse the digestive tract. It increases the uh, oxygen in the blood, some say up to 300%. Um, so it also increases the oxygen in the brain. You will find that uh, it improves your mood, makes you feel happy, makes you feel energetic, um, makes you feel really light and positive. Uh, it's got a lot of benefits, a lot of benefits. It's good for blood pressure. It's good for cleaning out um, infections of the gums and inside of the mouth. It's good for uh, diabetes. It's good for the management of diabetes. For those of you who believe in uh, psychic abilities, it uh, will definitely, after you take it over and over again over a period of time, uh, give you more mental clarity and focus and uh, Im improve your connection to the universe, if you know what I'm talking about. It also has antibiotic, antifungal, and antiviral properties, and it also tends to uh, give a little bit of a boost, a little kick to the immune system. Those in the Indian uh, tradition or in the Hindu spiritual, spiritual traditions say that it uh, opens the third eye or it spins the third eye chakra, increases the IQ and memory, and it's great for dealing with chronic fatigue, uh, low energy, and brain fog. Okay, now, above and beyond that, um, some gurus believe that, or I'm pretty sure most gurus believe, um, that you can manifest wealth. And I'm going to show you the technique for attempting to manifest wealth with um, Harataki in a minute. My spiritual tradition is Catholic, but... Um, I'm going to show you, according to the Hindu spiritual tradition, um, how you manifest wealth. Now first, I'm going to show you how I take it with my favorite juice. And the reason I'm going to take it with my favorite juice is because it is nasty. I'm not going to lie. It is very bitter. It does not have a pleasant taste at all. Okay? So it's something that you really don't want to taste. You just want to get it into your system. So this is the way you take it, or this is the way I take it. You tilt your head back, open your mouth. Pour it in, get a pool of your favorite uh, beverage in your mouth, then add a heaping tablespoon of harataki and swallow the whole thing. Okay, so hopefully I won't embarrass myself too much. Or hopefully I will. That's what the lap track is for, right? Okay, so here is a big spoon of harataki. Here is my favorite mango juice. That's simple, okay? And then wash it down. Because like I said, it's nasty. Mm. Mm. Now, the theory behind manifesting wealth, I don't know. It's not my spiritual tradition. However, if I had to try to assign a uh, scientific explanation for it, 
I would say that um, if you rub your gums with it, it's definitely going to be increasing the oxygen in the gums and probably in the brain because it's not a very far trip from the mouth to the brain. And uh, what I do, what I experience when I rub my gums, and I don't do this every day because, like I said, it's nasty. Um, but what I, when I do rub my gums with it, I do find that I have very productive work days that I'm able to think really clearly and get a lot done. Okay, so um, I do recommend taking it and I do recommend rubbing your gums with it. Um, I do recommend it for uh, the brain for energy, for the blood, for, um, yeah, I mean, for uh, boosting your immune system, cleaning your digestive system, um, cleansing the brain, cleansing the pineal gland, and cleansing the blood and ridding the blood of the effects of alcoholism and drug abuse. It has a lot of uh, good qualities. It also helps to boost your immune system. So I do highly recommend that you get some Harataki and uh, take it. Maybe you might not want to rub your gums with it the way I did, but um, at least uh, take a little bit. Take a little bit before you go to bed at night. If it keeps you awake, try taking it in the morning, but you will find that it has its own rhythm. It's going to churn through your digestive system and it's going to send you to the bathroom at a certain point. Uh, so be ready for that, but it's going to, uh, it's definitely, definitely a very um, healthy, uh, natural superfood product that uh, I recommend for sustaining good health, okay? And like I said, you can also rub your face for uh, with it, uh, cleanse your, your skin. You can also deal with rashes and um, um, cuts and different um, uh, lesions or abrasions or things on the skin can be addressed with Harataki. Trust me, it's very cheap, a small investment. Get yourself some Harataki, keep it on the shelf in your house. One of the things that can help keep the doctor away. Speaking of doctors, once again, I want to remind you, I am not a doctor. I am not uh, here to give medical advice. No video that you see on Biomed RX TV should be construed as medical advice. Okay. If you feel as though you have a disease or any type of a condition, go see a doctor as soon as possible and follow that doctor's recommendations. The things that we suggest here on Biometrics TV are only suggestions uh, for people who would like, a, like to live a more healthy lifestyle. Thank you very much for watching. Follow us on Patreon. Become a subscriber, a patron on Patreon to have access to videos that um, basically have a lot more information than the videos that we have here on YouTube. We have instructional videos in holistic health. Brain training, neurohacking, consciousness hacking, biomagnetic paratherapy, um, biomedical engineering, healthcare technology management, and a lot of other things that we um, that we do and uh, that we offer here at the Biomed RX Health Center. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to hit the like button, comment, share, and subscribe to Biomed RX TV and Devin Lockett on YouTube. And I will be coming back probably uh, tomorrow or in, a, in, the near, in the near future with more holistic health tips. Thank you for watching Biomed RX TV.